Live from the BDN Studios, it's Bang and Dang. That's awesome. If you don't like that, then you ain't black. Welcome back to According to Wikipedia with your host, Bang and Dang, and covering the second half of this Wikipedia article that Wikipedia cannot stop talking about themselves. There's this, like, I've literally spent probably 35 minutes on whether or not Wikipedia was uh, a credible source. Right. In uh, um, colleges and shit like that. And guess what? We left off still debating on whether they're credible. And we're going to start off debating whether they're credible still, apparently, uh, these guys. So, yeah. If you don't know what we do here this first time tuning in to According to Wikipedia, sounds just like what it is. According to Wikipedia, we take random Wikipedia articles every week and read them so you guys don't have to. You can listen to our beautiful voices read them and mess up words and um yep we're just like the average person <laughs> when you're reading them in your head you're messing up the words too so uh with that this is our second episode on a two-parter on wikipedia at the end of this episode we'll and plus the the herbs and uh hops and barley doesn't right. help yeah scientific names for plants and animals that's just stupid nobody can read them why do they even do it dumb <laughs> had that ramadotosis uh, manosis right. it's expialidocious it's a freaking it's a wild berry plant dude <laughs> <laughs> that's it uh at the end of this episode we have a random fancy wheel that we will spin we will spin to uh see what our next episode is going to be don't know what it's going to be nothing pre-planned it's going to all happen right in front of your guys' ears. Oh, Look at all those options. we got 107, and that's not all of them that we still got to add. There's 107 that the wheel's going to pick from, and it could be anybody from Donald Trump to uh, the porn site X Hamster. <laughs> oh, hi. So we got lots of stuff that we could uh, be covering next week, so stay tuned to the end, see which one that's going to be. For now, we will continue uh, covering Wikipedia. Left off, like I said, of them debating on if they're credible or not, but on March 15th, or March 5th, 2014, Julie Beck writing for the Atlantic Magazine in an article titled Doctor's Number One Source for Healthcare Information, Wikipedia. She stated that 50% of physicians look up conditions on the Wikipedia site. I don't want to go to those guys. Right. <laughs> and some are editing articles themselves to improve the quality okay. of available information. Oh, okay, right. I, I like that. I'll take it. Uh, Beck continued to detail in this article new programs of um, Amin, 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 Azam at the University of San Francisco to offer f offer medical school courses to medical students for learning to edit and improve Wikipedia articles on health-related <sighs> issues. I like that. Right. Have actual... Right. For that, that stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. As well as internal quality control programs within Wikipedia organized by James Haleman. Haleman! To improve a group of 200 health-related articles of central medical importance up to Wikipedia's highest standard of articles using its featured article and good article peer review evaluation process. Oh, ain't that nice. Right. Fantastic. May 7, 2014, follow-up article in the Atlantic titled, Can Wikipedia Ever Be a Definitive Medical Text? Julie Beck quotes Wikipedia. Wiki Project Medicine's James Hillman as stating, just because a reference is peer-reviewed doesn't mean it's a high-quality reference. I mean, kind of does. It's peer-reviewed. Right. Do you think uh, if it wasn't high-quality, then the peers would say that? Right. He also added Wikipedia has its own peer-review Oh, process. because your guys' peer-review guys are way better than the actual right. doctors and shit that are doing it. Right. And... Uh, they they review it before articles can be classified as good or featured. <laughs> we just got through a whole section of your so-called Wikipedians right. fighting with each other to right. edit shit. Wow. Hailman, who has participated in, in the last process before, says less than 1% of Wikipedia's medical articles have passed. Oh, jeez. I'm a lying whore. Right. Wikipedia seeks to create a summary. Doctors are dinks, dude. Right. Well, that's not a he's not a doctor. He's a, he's a Wikipedia guy. Hailman? Yeah. Hailman wasn't a doctor? No. Oh. Hailman was the uh, Wikipedia. He's the one that organized. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. He's a Wikipedia guy, so of course he's going to say that. Uh, Wikipedia seeks to create a summary a summary of all human knowledge into the form of an online encyclopedia. You with a summary. A summary. Uh, <laughs> with each topic covered encyclopedically in one article, right? Since it has terabytes of disk space, it can have far more topics than can be covered by any encyclopedia. I mean, I don't encyclopedia. get what the, diff the, the problem is here. It's an online encyclopedia, so it should be exactly like a psychopedia, just online. I just don't understand. It's not that freaking hard. I don't get it. 
just stupid. Well, it is when you depend on volunteers to edit and do That's all true. that shit. Yeah, because you're not paying. Yeah, it's not a company. I mean, it is a company, but but still, there's no way they could got as big as it did if it were right professionals doing it like they did for the Britannica and shit like that. Right. So take what you got to do. So I say, even just because it's on Wikipedia, research anyway, something sounds fishy, it probably is. Yep. Uh, the exact degree and manner of coverage on Wikipedia is under constant review by its editors, and disagreements are not uncommon, which we've already said. Um, Wikipedia contains materials, materials that some may find objectionable, offensive, or pornographic. Yeah. Okay. Um, just those things exist. You can't just write them out. Right. That's what I don't like either. You got to have it, have it all. I don't care what it is. You got to have it, buds. The Wikipedia is not censored policy has sometimes proved controversial. 2008, Wikipedia rejected an online petition against the inclusion of images of Muhammad in the English edition of Mah- of its Muhammad article. And they cited this policy here. Why wouldn't you include images of Muhammad in an um, article about Muhammad? Because I'm pretty sure Islam, they're, they're, they don't do the image of Muhammad. It's like... Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. It's like uh, not a thing. It's against their religion. To, to, to pick images. 120, 180,000 people, many Muslims signed a petition protesting against inclusion of Muhammad's depictions. Right. The petition opposed the reproduction of a 17th century Ottoman copy. Uh, You're not supposed to have any pictures of like any of those people in Islam. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they would not allow a uh, article of Muhammad because they had images of Muhammad, supposedly. No, they allowed it. No, they rejected. No, it. under oh, under oh, the Wikipedia yeah, okay, is yeah. not censored policy, right. they rejected it because right, right, Wikipedia, right, right, Wikipedia right, is not right, censored. Right, right, right. Because right. they had my images of Muhammad in English edition of Muhammad's article citing this policy. The presence of politically, religiously, and pornographically sensitive materials in Wikipedia has led to the censorship of Wikipedia by national authorities in China and Pakistan, amongst other countries. Oh, I wonder those two common have in common, huh? Mm. Um, pie chart of Wikipedia content by subject. The most that they have on there is culture and arts, which could be everything. All right, thirty percent. Mathematics and logic, one percent. I mean, how much can you have of that? That's <laughs> right. too much. A two thousand eight study conducted by researchers at Carnegie. Oh, I could have just done it right there. <laughs> right. Two thousand eight study conducted by researchers at Carnegie Mellon University and Palo Alto Research Center gave a distribution of topics as well as growth. From July of 2006 to January 2008, way out of date. Way out of date. Uh, in each field, culture and arts is 30% of articles that grew by 210%. Biographies and persons is 15% grew by 97%. Geography and places is 14% grew by 52%. Society and social sciences. You think geography and places would be, if not higher, as much as culture and arts? Culture, culture and arts. No, because culture and arts include... I know everything. Kim Kardashian. Everything. But like geography and places like should be at least 20, 25%. Well, but that grew by 52%. Society and social sciences is 12%. Grew by 83%. History and events. Should be higher. 11%, but it grew 143%. I'm right. curious to see what the numbers are now. I know. It. Uh, natural and physical sciences, 9%. Who cares? <laughs> Technology and applied science, 4%. Man. Religions and belief systems, 2%, which that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's kinda uh, low. Health is only 2%. Wow. Uh, mathematics and logic, 1%. And thought and philosophy is 1%. Logic, <laughs> those <laughs> two at the bottom uh, represents where our society is going. Right. So, uh, logic and Math- thought and math- philosophy logic, is 1%. Thought, philosophy are both 1%. Right. <laughs> but they got some of the they highest got culture and arts people looking up articles of uh Dua Lipa or whatever the hell right. that fucking chick's name is ridiculous these Don't worry, num- we might do an article on Dua Lipa <laughs> never know these numbers refer only to the number of articles it is possible for one topic to contain a large number of short articles and another to contain a small, small number of large ones well, clearly Though, uh, through its Wikipedia Loves Libraries program, Wikipedia has partnered with major public libraries such as New York Public Library for the Performing Arts. And they did that to expand its coverage of unrepresented, underrepresentative subjects and articles. 2011 study conducted by researchers at the University of Dude, Minnesota. What the hell is up with these people? There's no Wikipedians covering this shit. There's, no been, uh, there's not been any other studies since 2011 right. on this stuff. That's crazy. They, well, they, in Minnesota, they indicated that male and female editors focus on different coverage topics, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> no shit. There was a g- greater concentration of females in the people and arts category. Makes sense. While males focused on uh, geography and science. Makes sense. Right. Uh, research conducted by Mark Graham of the Oxford Internet Institute in 2009 indicated that the geographic distribution of articles, topics, 
of article topics is highly uneven. Africa being the most underrepresented. Well, no shit. 90% of Africa don't have internet. Right. <laughs> So Idiots. Across 30 language editions of Wikipedia, historical articles and sections are generally Eurocentric and fo- focus on recent events. Hmm. Right. An editorial in The Guardian in 2014 claimed that more effort went into pro- providing references for a list of female porn actors than a list of women writers. <laughs> 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 and then they, they, they give you an option to click both. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, data has also shown that Africa-related material often faces omission. A knowledge gap that a July 2018 Wikimedia conference in Cape Town sought to address. Mm. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you can't tell people what to look up. They're looking it up. Academic studies. But they're, they're also saying that nobody's making articles about Africa-related stuff. Well, how could you? you got to be there. That's not true. It's called historians for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Academic, <laughs> which they already have that. But now what's happening nowadays... I don't know. All I'm saying is if Google Earth can go right around uh, third world country in Africa, <laughs> I'm sure we can get some information on it. Right. Academic studies of Wikipedia have consistently shown that Wikipedia systematically overrepresents a point of view belonging to a particular demographic described as the average Wikipedian, who is an educated, technically inclined, English speaking white male. Aged 15 to 49. Aged 0 to 100. <laughs> from a developed Christian country in the Northern Hemisphere. You're an idiot. That's everybody. Clearly not. <laughs> right. Uh, this point of view is overrepresented in relation to the all existing point of views. What is the point of view of these guys? Right. Supposedly. Right. This systemic bias and editor demographic results in cultural bias, gender bias, and geographical bias on Wikipedia. How the hell is you have a geographical bias? Right. So I am only going to... I, uh, I refuse to cover uh, Haiti. <laughs> Between 5th and 3rd Street in New York. <laughs> right. so Whatever so happens after that, I don't care. Stupid. There are two broad types of bias, which are implicit when a topic is omitted and explicit when a certain pers- point of view is overrepresented in an article or by references. Oh, geez. Well, maybe because there's so much to learn. There's so much oh, there. We already know about it or the people that's editing right. these gays are these, are these people. Right. You dumbass. Jeez. So stupid. Interdisciplinary scholar assessments of Wikipedia articles have found that while articles are typically accurate and free of misinformation, they are also typically incomplete and fail to represent all right. perspectives with a neutral point of view. We've this, already sort of discussed yeah, this in the last episode. This, How many things have we very true. Had to look up right. outside of Wikipedia right. while we're doing a story. Right. Lots. True. Right. Uh, 2011 Wales claimed that the unevenness of coverage is a reflection of the demo- demography, demography, demography of the editors, citing, for example, biographies of famous women throughout history and issues surrounding early child care. All right. That's true. Okay. The October, 20, uh, the October 22nd, 2013 essay by Time Simonite. And MIT's technology review titled The Decline of Wikipedia discussed the effect of systemic bias and policy creep on the downward trend in the number of editors. Wow. What is policy creep? Excessive rule making when you're... Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Oh, these guys got to ruin everything. I know. Wikipedia has been criticized for allowing information about graphic content. You've got to. You can't... Be- that's like the dictionary not having um, right. um, a definition for penis. Right. It's so stupid. Articles depicting uh, what some critics have called objectionable content, such as feces. Oh, we're not supposed to know what poop is. Cadaver. We're not he- supposed to know what a dead person is. Uh, human- cadaver is not even a dead person. It's a dead person, but it's like, right. isn't a cadaver specifically what medical? Right. Right. It's a dead human yeah, body. Medical students, physicians, and other the right. study to be right. studied on. Right. We're not supposed to know about that? Stupid. Human penises. Everybody has one. Well, 50% of people have one. Uh, vulvas. Oh, 50% of people have one. And nudity. Everybody does it every day. Uh, they say that they object to these graphic pictures and detailed information easily available to anyone. No. That's true. Children can go on and look up a right. vulva and have like a I mean, pussy sped out. Like, literally. Right. Actually, look, click it right now and see what it is. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the first thing it picks up. Well, Kids shouldn't be seeing that. Didn't your parents need be, their parents need to be better at... Uh, damn, that was a big old lips on that pussy. Yeah, man, that's Holy the length shit. of the labia minora, very significantly between women. Yeah, man, you can have a nice tight one or a nice blown out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. 
Anyways, yeah, I mean, I'm sure if you have safe search on your right. browser, this right. wouldn't pop up. Uh, clearly. So, so I, parents' I, fault. Right. Definitely. Not Wikipedia's fault. Right. Because you wouldn't be able to access that from a school's um, website. Right. You know? They're saying, oh, it's easily accessible to anybody, even children. Well, you know what? Sorry. Piss off. The site also includes sexual content such as images and videos of masturbation and ejac- ejaculation. Illustrations of zoophilia. Ooh, that's not good. Wow. And photos from hardcore pornographic films in, it, in its articles. It also has non-sexual photographs of new children. Oh. Now, what's the reason for that? Definitely not clicking that. <laughs> <laughs> photographs. They only did. They only did that. They photographs did, of new children. That's do, the only non-sexual. They didn't, they, didn't they didn't include the non-sexual no, part. What the fuck? They tried to get you I there. I will click the zoophilia one though. What's that? <laughs> People just, oh. dude, this dude's eating this horse's asshole or and deer or whatever it is. His asshole. And this octopus is eating this oh, chick out. No, what the hell's nice. up with this? They're oh, all, shit, a dog. They're all Asian. The jackals. Oh, no. Dude, these are historic statues, though, so maybe they did it. I don't know. Well, we all know. Who about are we? Well, goats, yeah, that's the most yeah. prominent one. Goat fuckers. <laughs> Ancient Greek that. sodomizing a goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grab by the horns. Is that what they say? <laughs> grab by the horns. You know, sometimes you don't, they don't even care. I just walk up and grab by the horns. <laughs> just grab by the horns. And they just go, and they just go, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the Wikipedia article about Virgin Killer, which is a 1976 album from the German rock band Scorpions, features a picture of the album's original cover, which depicts a naked prepubescent girl. I mean, the original release cover caused controversy and replaced. Sorry, uh, if you guys hear that, it's pouring down like a sunbeam right now. Um, obviously, it was controversial and replaced in some countries. December 2008, access to the Wikipedia article Virgin Killer was blocked for four days by most internet service providers in the UK after the Internet Watch Foundation decided the album cover was a potentially illegal, indecent image and added as the article's URL to a blacklist that supplies to the British I mean, internet service. Clearly that is. It's clearly. A, uh, it's a freaking album of a band. You can't have naked children on your band. Why are they even including it on there anyways? So we've all seen the album thing. Right. Uh, anything like in a field or something? Oh, no. I didn't, uh, didn't want to see that. And it's still on there. <laughs> <laughs> so is pussies. <laughs> and dead people. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> um, I thought there was another band that has like a... a the, the article's a bunch of like kids naked, oh. but they're in like a field or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. The only one I know of Nirvana with the baby well, Yeah, I mean... Right. Which, for some reason, it's fine. It, it's art. Right. Ba- oh, it's, baby. it's art. Oh, babies is a baby. Well, I'm just saying. It's art. Right. How many how many art galleries have pictures, paintings, and stuff of nude everything? Right. It's, it's art. True. It's true, I guess. Whatever. I mean, if that girl that was on that a Scorpion's cover wanted to do it and the parents <laughs> signed on, whatever. I don't, think, I don't think she has consent when she was <laughs> clearly like 10 years old. So... Parents are pieces of shit. But right. Couldn't even be a real girl. Maybe somebody was a painting. I don't well, even look, know the backstory behind it. Uh, look at, um, uh, what's your face? Um, Brooke Shields. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at any child actress. Drew Barrymore. Well, well, Drew Barrymore never was like naked on screen, but. Brooke she, Shields was 12 years old, running around naked the whole damn movie well, in Blue Lagoon. Denise, that was Denise Richards, wasn't it? No. Was Brooke Shields. Well, Denise Richards, too. Well, Same she thing. Another one. Did who, she do it too? Who? Yeah. Uh, who played in Taxi Driver? With uh, or that was um, what's her name? The dude that shot uh, Reagan. Alec Baldwin. No. <laughs> the dude that shot Reagan. He did it for the chick. Remember? Oh right. What's um, her name? The hell was her name? Sarah Foss. Fair Foss. <laughs> no. no. Um, Jane Fonda. No. Well, she played in. Silence of the Lambs. What the hell's her name? Oh, what the hell is her name? Anyways, yeah. She was like 12 and that played a hooker. That's true. So I've been doing it forever. And Drew Barrymore was literally eight years old, nine, 10, 11. And she was hanging out at Club 54 in New York and doing some fucking cocaine with all the uh, adults and shit in there, dude. I mean, very true. It's Hollywood. Yeah. I'm not surprised at that at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, just look up that video of uh, Demi Moore making out with that. Oh, right. That kid was 12. Don't do that. Right. <laughs> Don't do that, guys. The kid was 12, but she was only 17, 18. But I guess still, that's... Not with that. She was like in her 20s. Uh, maybe almost 20. Either or. It's still, 19 and 12, that's way... Hollywood's not. gross, obviously. All right. 2010. 
Sanger wrote a letter to the Federal Bureau of Investigation outlining its concerns that two categories of images on Wikimedia Commons contain child pornography and they were in violation of the United States federal obscenity law. Sanger later clarified that the images which were related to pedophilia and one about a lolicon. Don't want to click it. Don't know. <laughs> they were not of real children, but said that they constituted obscene visual representations of sexual abuse of children under the Protect Act of 2003. That law bans photographic child pornography and cartoon images of drawing of children that are obscene under American law. Sanger also expressed concerns about access to the images on Wikipedia in schools. Well, that's why schools should well, ban they Wikipedia. They all have. I guarantee you can't get on Wikipedia in a school. Uh, Wikimedia Foundation spokesman Jay Wall strongly rejected Sanger's accusation, saying that Wikipedia did not have material we would deem to be illegal. If we did, we would remove it. Right. Following the complaint by Sanger, Wales deleted sexual images without consulting the community. Oh, no, dude. So, who's... Oh, the Wales is the guy that founded it, right? right? After some editors who volunteered to maintain the site are argued that the decision to delete had been made hastily, Wales voluntarily gave up some of the powers he had held up to that time as part of his co-founder status. Yeah, what are you going to do? All the little... Uh, all the little pedophile editors are like, hey, right. <laughs> what the hell? Um, <laughs> he wrote in a message to the Wikimedia Foundation mailing list that this action was in the interest of encouraging this discussion to be about real philosophical content issues rather than be about me and how quickly I acted. Oh. Okay, whatever, dude. Critics include Wikipediocracy. Wikipediaocracy uh, noted that many of the pornographic images deleted from Wikipedia since 2010 have reappeared. Wikipediaocracy is a website uh, for discussion and criticism of Wikipedia. Its members have brought information about Wikipedia's controversies to the attention. You know why they reappeared? Because in the last three or four years, this shit is normal now. I'm curious to see this Protection Act of 2003, if that's still in. Oh, you know it's not. Sexual abuse of children, 2023, 2008, force affirm, affirm the conviction. Court appeals was denied. A petition for writ of sitiorari was filed. September and denied. On, so it's still there. Nothing, nothing's happened with it. Since, but they've been trying to do it since it's been. I'd be curious if that actually is something about that. Mm. And they just didn't include it in here. Yeah. Of course, mm. I'm not gonna go start. <laughs> not gonna go start uh, searching the web about child pornography and shit. Right, so. what's legal? <laughs> right, <laughs> what is legal? And what's not? Uh, uh, no thing. One privacy concern in the case of Wikipedia is the right to a private citizen to remain a private citizen rather than a public figure in the eyes of the law, which is true. You can't just go write a Wikipedia page about anybody if you do things that are in public. All right. So technically, we right. anything in if public. We yeah. were a bigger podcast that right. had hundreds of thousands of views. We'd be a public figure, right? Or anything in public. If they say, "Hey, I saw him walking to the store." Well, no, you can't just like who blank and blank who lives at blank and blank no, uh, lives. goes to blank and blank who lives uh, in the neighborhood of blank right. and blank goes to the local corner store every morning for muffins and uh, a Gatorade. You could. No. It's all public information. No. It's all public information. What does the law say about a public figure? This person has achieved notoriety, prominence, or fame within a society, whether through achievement, luck, action, luck, luck. <laughs> or in some cases through no purposeful action of their own. All oh, right. All right. See? Yeah. But it all deals with the defamation lawsuits, invasion of privacy, and all that shit. If you're considered a public person, then invasion right. of privacy basically doesn't, right. unless they're in your home. Right. So, that's crazy. By luck. Anyways, it is a battle between the right to be anonymous in the cyberspace and the right to be anonymous in real life. Yeah, people are like, well, I can do what I want on the internet. It's the internet, but in, in real life, I don't want you to know. That's actually a major discussion on Twitter right now because right. Elon Musk just said uh, people with anonymous accounts will remain that way. Right, and all the other people are like, well, that hurts. Well, well they can just no. do whatever. No. You can, you're allowed to be anonymous on the internet, man. Yep. That's what the, it's there for. Wikimedia Foundation's private policy states: We believe that you shouldn't have to provide a personal information to participate in the free knowledge of movement. Okay, good for them. It also states that personal information may be shared for legal reasons. I mean, I get it to protect you, ourselves. And there's the famous word that we've been saying since the first episode we ever done, Outlaws and Gunslingers. Right. Others. We don't know who those others are. We never will find out. And they said, or to understand and experiment. <laughs> but I don't they're, like that. But they're also saying, they're I saying, like that. they're saying that personal information may be shared for right. these reasons. I right. don't want you to share for legal reasons to protect me, myself, and others, or to understand and experiment. That's true. So dumb. If I wanted you to share my personal information, huh? I mean, legal reasons you have to. 
No, why? Why do they need to know my IP address and shit? They're, they're a public platform. Doesn't matter. Oh, they don't need it. Yeah, but they they are, do, though. Of course they know it. January 2006, a German court ordered the German Wikipedia shut down within Germany because it stated the full name of Boris Florisic, a.k.a. Tron, who was a deceased hacker. Really? Uh, February 9, 2006, the injunction against Wikimedia or Wikipedia, Wikimedia Deutschland was overturned, overturned. Uh, overturned with the court rejecting the notion that Tron's right to privacy or that of his parents was being violated. How? He's a hacker. Yeah. It rejected the notion that it wasn't. He was illegal. So they should, everybody should know his name right, if he did something illegal. Right. Wikipedia has a volunteer response team that uses Zununi, which is a free and open source software fork of OTRS, don't know what that is, to handle queries about having to reveal the identities of involved parties. This is used, for example, in confirming the permission for using individual images and other media in the project. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Late April 2023, Wikimedia Foundation announced that Wikimedia, Wikipedia will not submit to any age verifications that may be required by the uh, online safety bill. Wow. Rebecca M McKinnon of the Wikimedia Foundation said that such checks would run counter to the website's commitment to minimal data collection on its contributors and readers. Yeah, there's no way because then you have to create an account and all that shit. Wiki Wikipedia would well, not necessarily kill it. All they technically would have to do is uh, kill it. before an article pops up, like the one about vulvas or whatever, it would say, you need to be 18 to read this. Or sorry you and just click yes. Oh, it's true. Anybody can do it. Yeah, everybody's clicking yeah. Right. And obviously, who clicks no? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not oh, 18. Oh, shit. We can't look at this guy. <laughs> so stupid. It literally no. never works. Um, <laughs> Wikipedia was described in 2015 as harboring a battleground culture of sexism and harassment oh, as well. Get out of here. The perceived tolerance of abusive language was a reason put forth in 2013 for the gender gap in Wikipedia editorship. Uh, edit a thons have been held to encourage female editors and to increase the coverage of women's topics. May of 2018, a Wikipedia editor rejected a submitted article about Donna Strickland due to lack of coverage in the media. Mm. What? what? Just because she's not being covered right. in the media doesn't yeah. mean you can't have an article about her. Five months later, Strickland won a Nobel Prize in physics for groundbreaking inventions in the field of laser physics, becoming the third woman to ever receive the award. I mean, come on. Jeez. Prior to winning the award, Strickland's only mention on Wikipedia was an article about her collaborator and co-winner of the award, Gerard Maru. Of course, a guy. Right. Her exclusion from Wikipedia led to accusations about sexism. But Corrine Pertil, writing the courts, argued that it's also a pointed lesson in the hazards of gender bias in media and of the broader consequences of under-representation. It's true. I don't know about the gender bias, though. Oh, 100%. Man, nah, that hasn't been a thing in a while. No, now now it's men. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. Not even still. Right. I guarantee the public, whoever this Gerard Moreau dude, but in the, in the inner circles of the physics world, I guarantee he was getting more recognition than she was. Yeah, that's very true. Pertil attributes the issue to the gender bias and media coverage. A comprehensive 2008 surgery. Surgery. <laughs> a comprehensive. <laughs> Gerard Maru became a girl. <laughs> right. A comprehensive 2008 survey published in 2016. Well, okay. Took eight years to uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> research, man. Wow. Anyhow, it was published in 2016 by Julia B. Baer of Stony Brook University's College of Business and Benjamin Collier of Carnegie Mellon University. They found significant gender differences in confidence and expertise. Discomfort with editing and response to critical feedback. But that has nothing to do with the public. Everybody knows women are more, uh, they're more uh, sensitive. But no, this, uh, but it doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with public. <laughs> the Wikipedians are the reasons that these women editors are feeling this way because it's all the internal uh, editors. All right. A response to critical feedback. You're only getting critical feedback if you're and an editor talking to other editors. And there's no reason for a gun to be fired. Oh, well, well, you never know. <laughs> and, dude, and everybody knows in the world of editing, writing, anything, dude, it's a dirty world. You got, it's like it's like journalism. You got to fight and, and, and poke your eye way to the top. Like a freaking Ric Flair. Right? <laughs> you got to be the dirtiest writer right. in the game. <laughs> the dirtiest writer in the game, baby. Dirtiest editor in the game. Yeah, but anyways, it's all about... The internal things at Wikipedia has nothing to do with the public. True. 
Women reported less confidence in their expertise, expressed greater discomfort with editing, which typically involves conflict. Anything, yeah, anything they had caught. Yeah, they didn't know how to edit it. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this. Did he punch him? Did he, did he slap him? Or should I say this? Right. Should I leave this out? Or? And they also reported more negative responses to critical feedback compared to men. Again, that's a Wikipedia thing. Right. Get your shit in order, Wikipedians. Wikipedia is hosted and funded by the Wikimedia Foundation, a nonprofit organization which also operates Wikipedia related projects such as Wiktionary and Wikibooks. The foundation relies on public contributions and grants to fund its mission. The foundation's 2020 IRS Form 990 shows a revenue of $124 million and expenses of almost $112 million, with assets of about $191 million and liabilities of almost $11 million. Wow, so they're. Breaking even. Pretty much. Oh, barely. I'm still making a few million. Wow. That's why they're asking for donations. <laughs> Every two months I log on to right. Wikipedia. It's like, please don't scroll past. <laughs> no, no. And I'm like, click the X. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> why are you spending 112 million? First of all, Wikimedia. Yeah, 112. For what? For exactly. There's no reason. <laughs> Idiots. 2014 of May. Wikimedia Foundation named Lila. Lila. Tretikov as its second executive director, taking over for Sue Gardner. She's from the Soviet Union. Uh-oh. Definitely. Uh, definitely. She was born Olga. She's an engineer and a manager. Okay. She didn't like her name, Lil, uh, Olga, so she changed it to Lila. Olga. Well, first of all, she was an uh, engineer and a manager, whatever that means. But an engineer, first and foremost, so... How much money is she getting at Wikipedia to leave an engineering job? And why did she have to have a different name? She was the board of directors at Volvo in 2021. Probably making millions upon millions of dollars at Volvo. Right. And now she goes to Wikipedia. No wonder why Wikipedia is spending $112 million right. a year. No reason for it Stupid. whatsoever. That Not was pretty non-profit, my ass. Right. The Wall Street Journal reported on the 1st of May 2014 that Leela inf- Leela's information technology background from her years at University of California offers Wikipedia an opportunity to develop in more concentrated directions guided by her often repeated position statement that information, like air, wants to be free. Well, you got to break free. You got to break free. <laughs> Well, information's like, I got to break free. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, I'm information man, man, man. The same Wall Street Journal article reported these directions of development according to an interview with spokesman Jay Wallace of the Wikimedia, who said that Leela Tretikoff would address that issue as a priority. Which is paid advocacy, which right. we discussed last episode where people are getting paid to write articles. And he continues on saying, we are really pushing toward more transparency. We are reinforcing that paid advoc- advocacy is not well. Didn't I just say that they shouldn't allow these people to write the articles if they're paid for it, but, the, but their thing was that they allowed it? Right. And he also continues on, initiatives to involve greater diversity of contributors, better mobile support of Wikipedia, new geolocation tools to find local content more easily, and more Don't tools like for users in, in the second and the third world are also priorities. Okay, cool. Following the departure of Tetrakoff from Wikimedia or uh, Wikipedia due to issues concerning the use of super protection hmm. feature, which some language versions of Wikipedia have adopted. All right. What does that mean? Like articles are super protected or something? Right. Catherine Meyer or Mayer, Ma- Mar, Bill Maher, yeah. yeah Catherine Maher became the third executive director of Wikimedia Foundation in June of 2006. Well, that Russian didn't last very long, did she? Right. Maher stated that one of her priorities would be... Why is it always girls, too? Right. <laughs> said one of her priorities... That is sexist, dude. Very. One of her priorities would be the issue of editor harassment endemic to Wikipedia, as identified by the Wikipedia board in December. She said to Bloomsburg Businessweek regarding the harassment issue that it establishes a sense within the community that this is a priority... And that correction requires that it has to be more than words. More than words <laughs> is all we have to say to Wikipedians. This is getting out of hand, really. Dude, Wikipedia is this crazy. Is re- ridiculous. <laughs> there is, uh, this is getting out of hand and it's ridiculous. There's I'm no watching re- uh, the Gladiators documentary thing on Netflix right now. And 
the behind the scenes like drug parties and shit like that. Why isn't there something on Wikipedia yet? Well, you already know that. It sounds like something's crazy going on behind the scenes of Wikipedia. These dudes are popping ecstasy and drinking. Well, they're not even like in an organization. These are just right. these are regular dudes sitting on their couch that just so happen to be. I've edited three thousand articles this year, so now I'm I'm high class society in the Wikipedia. Yeah, this, in whole the thing, this whole thing's weird and uncalled for. It seems <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. Wow. Well, Maurer served as an executive director until April of 2021. Hmm. Mariana Iskander was named uh, incoming CEO in September of 2021, took over for that role in January 2022. She stated that one of her focuses would be increasing diversity in the Wikimedia community. Oh, this makes sense, 2021. Uh, Wikipedia is also supported by main organizations and groups that are affiliated with the Wikimedia Foundation, but independently run, uh, called Wikimedia Movement Affiliates. These include... Wikimedia chapters, which are national or subnational organizations such as Wikimedia Deutschland, Deutsch, 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 Deutschland, and Wikimedia France. Thematic organizations such as the Amico Wikimedia for the Catalan language community, and also user groups. Oh, got the huge groups in there for those guys. <laughs> those those are the others. Right. These affiliates participate in the promotion, development, and funding of Wikipedia. Good for them. The operation of Wikipedia depends on Media Wiki, which is a custom-made free and open-source wiki software platform written in PHP and built upon the MySQL database system. Okay. okay. Whatever. The software incorporates programming features such as macro language, variables, a transclusion system for templates, and URL di- redirection. MediaWiki is licensed under the GNU General Public like public license, and it is used by all Wikimedia projects as well as many other Wiki projects. Awesome, <laughs> fantastic. Well, originally though, Wikipedia ran on Usemod Wiki. Oh, Usemod Wiki. Yeah, it was written in Perl <laughs> oh. by Clifford Adams, mother of Perl, which initially required Camel Case for article hyperlinks. Oh, you remember geez. Camel Case? Yeah, remember Camel, Camel case? case, dude. Who doesn't know about Camel <laughs> oh, Case? My. The present double bracket style was incorporated later. <laughs> oh, geez, they should have kept Camel Case. Right. right. Yeah. Starting in January 2002, Wikipedia began running on PHP Wiki. That's a big mistake. With a my my SQL database. Uh, this software was custom made for Wikipedia by Magnus Mansk. Okay. The Phase uh, Two software was repeatedly modified to accommodate the exponentially increasing demand. Obviously, it's going to demand. It's going to increase. July 2002, Phase Three began. Wikipedia shifted to the third generation of software. Media Wiki, originally written by you guessed it, Lee Daniel Crocker. Damn, so that only lasted from January to July of two thousand two. Shit moves fast on the internet. Right? I guess so. This Several old Media out. Wiki. When you buy a uh, uh, update for your thing, two months later, they're like we're ready for a new update. You're like, bitch, I just paid one hundred nineteen dollars for that last one. Yeah. And they're like, don't worry, there'll be another one in two weeks. Right. <laughs> Several Media Wiki extensions are installed to extend the functionality of the Mika Wiki, Media Wiki software. Whoa. Wiki, Wiki. <laughs> April 2005, a Lucene extension was added to Media Wiki's built in search and Wikipedia switched from MySQL to Lucene for searching. Hey, Lucene. You had a good run, MySQL. It was later replaced by Serious Search, which is based on Elasticsearch. In July 2013, after extensive beta testing, a Y or W Y S I W Y G, what you see is what you get extension, visual editor was open to public use. These guys didn't even try anymore. Like, what would you call it? My, what you, see what you, you get? get? Perfect. All right. It was met with much rejection and criticism and was described as slow and buggy. The feature was changed from opt out to opt in afterwards. Oh, so you, when you got on there, you're like, do you want to switch to this? You're like, no. Right. Motherfuckers. Wow. All right. Computer programs called bots have often been used to perform simple and repetitive tasks, such as correcting common misspellings and stylistic issues. Yeah. Or they're they're there to start articles such as geography entries in a standard format to for in a standard format from statistical data. Wow, that's cool. One controversial contributor, Schwerk Schwerker Johansson. He created articles with his bot, LSJ bot, which was reported to create up to 10,000 articles on the Swedish Wikipedia on certain days. On certain days? <laughs> Only a couple days. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I do. <laughs> Over 10,000 articles. Additionally, there are bots designed to automatically notify editors when they make common editing errors, such as unmatched quotes or unmatched parentheses. I mean, hell of a freaking technology that is. Mm. Edits falsely identified by bots as the work of a band editor can be restored by other editors. Oh, nice. An anti-vandal bot is programmed to detect and revert vandalism quickly. 
Bots are able to indicate edits from particular accounts or IP address ranges. Of course, again, they know everything. As occurred at the time of the shooting down of the MH17 jet incident in July of 2014, mm -hmm. when it was reported that edits were made via IPs controlled by the Russian government. Oh, see, that's the thing too. You got to now. You got to not only that about the Wikimedians arguing with each other. Now you got like people in governments uh -huh. trying to change their view of yeah. their government. Uh -huh. Jeez, bots on Wikimedia must be approved or Wikipedia must be approved before activation. Oh. According to Andrew Lee or Lie or Li, <laughs> the current expansion of Wikipedia to millions of articles would be difficult to envision without the use of such bots. Yeah, it's all going to be bot bots. You're not going to have the right. little Wikimedia editors no more. Right. It's exactly. all going to be bots doing it. Yeah. I mean, what's probably more accurate than these... Uh, Unless the bots are biased. Uh, you know they are. Well, as of 2021, page requests are first passed to a front-end layer of varnish caching uh, servers, and back-end layer caching is done by Apache Traffic Server. Requests that cannot be served from the varnish cache are sent to a the sent to load balancing servers run in the Linux virtual server software, which, in turn, pass them to one of the Apache web servers for page rendering from the database. The web servers deliver pages as requested performing page rendering for all the language editions of Wikipedia. Cool. To increase speed for the rendered pages are cached in a distributed memory cache until invalidated, allowing page rendering to be skipped entirely for most common page accesses. All right. Somebody's visiting the United right. States of America page. There's going to be no, right. you don't have to render the page. It's no. already there. Right. Right. Good for them. Yeah. Wikipedia currently runs on dedicated clusters of Linux servers running the Debian operating system. As of February 2023, caching clusters are located in Amsterdam, San Francisco, Singapore, and Marseille. Don't know what that is. By January 22nd, 2013, Wikipedia had migrated its primary data, data center to an Equinix facility in Ashburn, Virginia. 2017, they installed a caching cluster in an Equinix facility in Singapore, which was the first of its kind in Asia. 2022, a caching data center was opened in Marseille, France. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right, Wikipedia. Following growing amounts of incoming donations in 2013, exceeding seven digits, the foundation has reached a threshold of assets which qualify its consideration under the principles of industrial organization economics to indicate the need for a reinvestment of donations into the eternal research and development of the foundation. They're like, yeah, you guys are getting like $20 million. What are you doing with it? Mm. Two projects of such eternal research and development have been the creation of the visual editor and the thank tab in the edit history. The, uh, these were developed to imp improve issues of editor attrition. The estimates for reinvestment by industrial organizations into internal research and development was studied by Adam Jaff, who recorded that the range of 4% to 25% annually was to be recommended with high-end technology requiring the higher level of support for internal reinvestment. No shit. As the 2013 level of contribution for Wikimedia presently documented as $45 million, the computed budget level recommended by Jaff for reinvestment <laughs> into internal research and development is between $1.8 million and $11.3 million annually. Jeez. It's a hell of a discrepancy, guys. Right. 2019, the level of contributions reported by the Wikimedia Foundation as being $120 million annually. Oh, my. Updating the Jaff estimates for the higher level of support to up to $19.2 million to uh, invest in internal research. Jeez. What the hell are they needing that money for? Nothing. I can see maybe, like, developing bots and shit that would take away from the editors to catch when something's uh, edited. It's ridiculous how much money they throw in this shit. Multiple Wikimedia projects have internal news publications. Ooh. Wikimedia's online newspaper, The Sign The Signpost, was founded in 2005 by Michael Snow, a Wikipedia administrator who would join the Wikimedia's Foundation Board of Trustees in the year of 2008. The publication covers news and events from the English Wikipedia, the Wikimedia Foundation, and the Wikipedia Sister Projects. Other past and present community news publications on English Wikipedia include the WikiWorld webcomic, the Wikipedia Weekly Podcast, wow, and newsletters of specific wiki projects like the Bugle from Wiki Project Military History, and monthly newsletter uh, from the Guild of Copy Editors. Anybody read this shit? <laughs> Just the Wikipedians, probably. There are also several publications from the Wikimedia Foundation and multilingual publications such as the Wikimedia Diff 
and this month in education. Hmm. Can't you can't do shows that have this month or this week in uh, the title because nobody gives a shit. <laughs> the Wikipedia Library is a resource for Wikipedia editors, which provides free access to a wide range of digital publications, so that they consult and cite these while editing the encyclopedia. Okay. Over sixty publishers have partnered with the Wikimedia Library or Wikipedia Library to provide access to the resources. When Ice Publishing joined in 2020, a spokesman said. By enabling free access to our content for Wikipedia editors, we hope to further the research community's resources, creating and updating Wikipedia entries on civil engineering, which are read by thousands of monthly readers. Oh, that's fantastic. At least they're keeping up well, with Well, that's game. cool that uh, outside places like that that have the data are letting them use it for free. Might as well. When the project was started in the year 2001, all text in Wikipedia was covered by the GNU Free Documentation License, or the GFDL a copyleft license permitting the redistribution, creation of derivative works, and commercial use of content while authors retain copyright of their own work. The GFDL was created to, for software manuals that come with free software programs licensed under the GPL. This made it a poor choice for a general reference work. For example, the GFDL requires that reprints of material from Wikipedia to come with a full copy of the GFDL text. In December 2002, the Creative Commons license was released. It was specifically designed for creative works in general, not just software manuals. <laughs> right. Isn't that um, where you're free to, yeah, free distribution of otherwise copyrighted work right. if you're like um, educating or right. critiquing or something like that? Right, you're allowed to do it. Yeah. But you're making your own content out of it. Right. You can't just redo it. The Wikipedia project sought the switch to Creative Commons because the GFDL and Creative Commons were incompatible. In November 2008, following the request of the project, the Free Software Foundation, they released a new version of the GFDL designed specifically to allow Wikipedia to relicense its content to uh, the Creative Commons by SA by whatever that means by August 1st, 2009. April 2009, Wikipedia and its sister projects held a community wide referendum which decided to switch in June of 2009. Okay, a bunch of bullshit we just right, read there. Dude. Jeez, the handling media files, which is an uh, example of image files, varies across language editions. Some language editions, such as the English Wikipedia, include non free image files under fair use doctrine while the others have opted not to, in part because of the lack of fair use doctrines in their home countries. Example, Japanese copyright law. Media files covered by free content licenses are shared across language editions via the Wikimedia Commons Respiratory, a project operated by the Wikimedia Foundation. Okay, cool for them. Wikipedia's accommodation of varying international copyright laws regarding images has led some to observe that its photographic coverage of topics lags behind the quality of the encyclopedic text. The Wikimedia Foundation is not a licensor of content on Wikipedia or its related projects, but merely a hosting service for contributors to and licensors of Wikipedia. Okay. A position which successfully defended in 2004 in a court case in France. Wow. They even took it to court, huh? I mean, I don't know. Like, for, for uh, reference, for the Civil War, that's where I get most of our images for thumbnails and shit. Or right. like scenes of the battle, mm -hmm. which are usually paintings by other people. So, and Wikimedia is make Wikipedia is making money off of those. Damn right there. So weird. And, and what are you can do Wik because Wikipedia content is distributed under an open license. Anyone can reuse or redistribute it at no charge. Hey, <laughs> the content of Wikipedia has been published in many forms, both online and offline, outside the Wikipedia website yes, as well. Most notably, uh, <laughs> two podcasts. Thousands of mirror sites exist that republish content from Wikipedia. Literally. Two prominent ones that also include content from other references sources are reference.com and answers.com. Another example was Wapedia, which began to display Wikipedia content in a mobile device-friendly format before Wikipedia itself did so. Good for them. Some web search engines make special use of Wikipedia content when displaying search results. Examples include Microsoft Bing via the technology gained from PowerSet and also Duckity Duckity Go. <laughs> duckity 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 uh, collections of Wikipedia articles have been published on optical discs. An English version released in 2006 contained about 2,000 articles. The Polish language version from 2006 contains only or contains nearly 240,000 articles. Dang. Wow. The German language version from 2007 and 8 contains over 620,000. Why was the English one only 2,000? Right. 
and the Spanish language version from 2011 contains 886,000. Dang. Additionally, Wikipedia for Schools, the Wikipedia series of CDs slash DVDs produced by Wikipedia and SOS Children, is a free selection from Wikipedia designed for education towards children 8 to 17. Fantastic. Hey, cool. So, you, what, do libraries have, like... Computers? No, like, you can check out a CD on the war or the Civil War or something, and they would read it for you like we're doing, pretty much? Mm, I bet you. It's possible. Yeah. Like an audio book? Sure. Right. There have been efforts to put a select subset of Wikipedia articles in printed book form, though. Since 2009, tens of thousands of print-on-demand books that reproduce English, German, Russian, and French Wikipedia articles have been produced by the American company Books LLC and by three Maritain Mer- 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 subsidiaries of the German publisher VDM. The website DBpedia begun in 2007, extracts data from info boxes and category declarations of the English language Wikipedia. Cool. Wikimedia has created the Wikidata project with a similar objective of storing the basic facts from each page of Wikipedia and other Wikimedia Foundation projects and make it available (laughs) in a queryable somatic format, Um, RDF. With these first two episodes... If anybody can count how many times we said the word wiki, I'll give you 100 bucks <laughs> right. in your PayPal account. Jeez. Um, as of February 2023, it has over 101 million items. The uh, data or their project that they launched, apparently, Wiki Reader. Uh, <clears throat> wiki Reader is a dedicated reader service that contains an offline copy of Wikipedia, which was launched by OpenMoco and first released in 2009. Obtaining the full contents of Wikipedia for reuse presents challenges since direct cloning via a web crawler is discouraged. Oh. Wikipedia publishes dumps of its contents, but these are text only. As of 2023, there is no dump available of Wikipedia's images. Wikimedia Enterprise is a for-profit solution to this. Several languages of Wikipedia also maintain a reference desk where volunteers answer questions from the general public. According to a study by Benina Shafif, Shashaf, in the Journal of Documentation, the quality of Wikipedia reference desk is comparable to a standard library reference desk with an accuracy of 55%. Hmm. That's not very good. No. Oh. Wikipedia's original medium was for users to read and edit content using any standard web browser throughout a fixed internet connection. Although Wikipedia content has been accessible through the mobile web since July 2013, the New York Times on February 9, 2014, quoted Eric Moeller, deputy director of the Wikimedia Foundation, stating that the transition of Internet traffic from desktops to mobile devices was significant and it calls for concern and worry. The article in New York Times reported the comparison statistics for mobile edits, stating that only 20 percent of the readership of the English language Wikipedia comes via mobile devices. It figures substantially lower than the percentile of mobile traffic for other media sites, many of which approach 50%. And But this was in 2014. Right. Guarantee that's changed. Damn right. And the shift to mobile editing has lagged even more, he says. The New York Times reports that Moeller has assigned a team of 10 software developers focused on mobile, clearly, <laughs> out of a total of approximately 200 employees working at the Wikimedia Foundation. One principal concern cited by the New York Times for the worry is for Wikipedia to effectively address attrition issues with the number of editors, which the online encyclopedia attracts to edit and maintain its content in a mobile access environment. All right. Okay. There you go, back with the editing again. All right. Bloomberg Business Week reported in July 2014 that Google's Android mobile apps have dominated... <laughs> <laughs> have dominated the largest share of global smartphone shipments for 2013, with 78.6% of market share over their next closest competitor and is the iOS, with 15% of the market. Apple. All right. At the time of the appointment of the new Wikimedia Foundation executive, Leela Tretikoff, Wikimedia representatives made a technical announcement concerning the number of mobile access systems in the market seeking access to oh, Wikipedia. Soon after... The representative stated that Wikimedia would be applying all an all-inclusive approach to accommodate as many mobile access systems as possible in efforts for expanding general mobile access, including BlackBerry and Windows Phone system, when none of them are around anymore. Wow, talk about obsolete. <laughs> right, making market share a secondary issue. All right, well, the Android app for Wikipedia was released July 23rd, 2014. Wait, there's an app? Yeah. To over 500,000 installs and generally positive reviews, scoring over four of a possible five in a poll of approximately 200,000 users downloaded from Google Play. The version for iOS was released April 3rd, 2013. 
Uh, it was released a year before to similar reviews. Yeah, people have to pay for that shit. Right. <clears throat> why would they do... Uh, Apple sucks. Why would they do Apple first when they clearly just said Apple was only 15% to Google's 70%? They wanted Idiots. Apple to be the main thing, and Android still continues Stupid. to kick everybody's ass. Well, that's because... We all know why. <laughs> Access to Wikipedia from mobile phones was possible as early as 2004 through the wireless application protocol, Ooh, which is the possible. WAP, <laughs> via the Wapedia service. 2007, Wikipedia launched an en.mobile.wikipedia.org, which is an official website for wireless devices. 2009, a newer mobile service was officially released located at en.m.wikipedia.org, which caters to more advanced mobile devices such as the iPhone, Android-based devices, or web OS-based services no. or devices. Fantastic. All right, so they're getting on all bases, huh? Look at, look at you guys. Several other methods of mobile access to Wikipedia have emerged since. Many devices and applications optimize or enhance the display of Wikipedia content for mobile devices. While some other incorporate, while some also incorporate additional features such as the use of Wikipedia metadata, like geo information, Who gives a shit. Wikipedia Zero was an initiative of the Wikimedia Foundation to expand the reach. Jeez, of even web even websites gone sugarless. <laughs> <laughs> Wikimedia Zero was an a oh, Wiki, Wikipedia Zero was an initiative of the Wikimedia Foundation to expand the reach of the encyclopedia to the developing countries by partnering with mobile operators to allow free access. It was discontinued in February 2018 due to the lack of participation for mobile operators. <laughs> right, like no. Andrew Lee and Andrew Brown both maintain editing Wikipedia with smartphones is difficult, and this discourages new potential contributors. Well, no shit. And yeah, nobody wants to do Honestly, it. Honestly, the phone. easiest way to edit is going to be your desktop. Damn right. Uh, Lee states the number of Wikipedia editors has been declining after several years. Here we go back to the damn uh, editors, and they're mm. declining. And uh, Tom Simonite of MIT Technology Review claims the bureaucratic bureaucratic structure and rules are a factor in this. He alleges that some Wikipedians use the labyrinthine rules and guidelines to dominate others, and those editors have a vested interest in keeping a status quo. Okay. Lee argues there is serious disagreement among existing contributors on how to resolve this. Clearly. He fears for Wikipedia's long-term future, while Brown fears problems with, with, with Wikipedia will remain, and rival encyclopedias will not replace it, though. Mm, they won't. Right, so he's saying all this infighting between the editors and this status quo shit is going to still come... But nobody's going to replace Wikipedia, so Wikipedia is going to become a shithole. Yeah, sure the hell is. Hmm. Well, access to the Chinese Wikipedia has been blocked in mainland China since May of 2015. Of course it has. This was done after Wikipedia started to use HTTPS encryption, uh, which made selective censorship more difficult. Yeah, because you couldn't, yeah, you might as well just do the whole damn thing. 2017 courts reported from the Chinese government had begun creating an unofficial version of Wikipedia. However, unlike Wikipedia, the website's contents would only be editable by scholars from state-owned Chinese institutions. I bet it would. The article stated it had been approved by the State Council of the People's Republic of China in 2011. Good for them. I doubt any. I doubt uh, Z is going to care what the State Council of the People's Republic of China says. He's just going to do it himself anyway. Well, but it still would be edited by state-owned constitutions or institutions which means yep. there'll be no bashing uh, of nothing there'll be no mention of the Uyghurs and all that shit mm, just be like twitter well we like twitter in 2021 or facebook instagram and that right. stupid new threads that it's already failing well people are already um people that are on twitter and they usually talk about boobs and shit like that you got like a fucking bunch of them they're Getting banned just for typing the word boobs. On threads? Yeah. In 2017-18, after a barrage of false news reports, here we go. We're about to get into some juicy stuff because their uh, coverage of the pandemic is coming up here soon. Uh, both Facebook and YouTube announced they would rely on Wikipedia to help their users evaluate reports and reject false news. That's not good. Noam Cohen, writing in the Washington Post, states YouTube's resilience... Our reliance on Wikipedia set the record straight builds on the thinking of another fact challenge pro platform. Right. Facebook social network, which announced last year that Wikipedia would help its users root out fake news. Also, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Right. Get out of here. February 2014, New York Times reported that Wikipedia was ranked fifth globally among all websites, stating with 18 billion page views and nearly 500 million unique visitors a month. Wikipedia trails just Yahoo, Facebook, Microsoft and Google. 
The largest with 1.2 billion unique visitors is Google. However, uh, not in 2014. It was actually Yahoo. Oh, oh. There's this video on YouTube which shows the most popular websites from like '96, and Yahoo just got passed in like 2018. Yeah, Yahoo was pretty big for a while. It still sure. is. It's still like the third largest. Yahoo. However, its ranking dropped to number 13 globally by June of 2020, due mostly to a rise in popularity of Chinese websites for online shopping. There is a couple of them. In addition to logistic growth in the number of its articles, Wikipedia has steadily gained status as a general reference website since its inception in 2001. No shit. The number of readers of Wikipedia worldwide reached 365 million at the end of 2009. Freaking 15 years ago. Well, they just said in 2014, though, it was 500 million, so I'm sure it's about... More than that, right? The Pew Pew Internet and American Life Project found that one-third of U.S. Internet users consulted Wikipedia for some reason or another. In 2011, Business Insider gave Wikipedia a valuation of $4 billion if it ran advertisements, right? right. It should. Who gives a shit? Right. Um, according to Wikipedia Readership Survey of uh, 2011, the average age of Wikipedia readers is 36. Hey. Damn. With a rough parity between genders. Almost half of them are... Uh, Almost half of those visit the site more than five times a month. Oh, jeez. I hate to see what my numbers are. <laughs> uh, and a similar number of readers specifically look for Wikipedia and search engine results. Oh, right. That's me. About 47% of Wikipedia readers do not realize that Wikipedia is a nonprofit organization. As of February 2023, Wikipedia attracts around 2 billion unique devices monthly, mm -hmm. with the English Wikipedia receiving 10 billion page views a month. That's Dude, cray cray. That's stupid. Oh, wow. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Wikipedia's <laughs> coverage of the pandemic and fight against misinformation received international media attention and brought an increase in Wikipedia viewership overall. Noam Cohen wrote in Wired that Wikipedia's efforts to combat misinform misinformation related to the pandemic was different from other major websites, opining that unless Twitter, Facebook, and others <laughs> can learn to address misinformation <laughs> more effectively, Wikipedia will remain the last place on Earth with any Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia will remain the last best place on the Internet. Well, I don't know. I guess I haven't really read an article on the... Um their stuff about the pandemics. I can't really tell you what they say about it. All right. Maybe they do have. However, some right. people disagree with this. Maybe they'd make counterpoints. I don't let's, know. Let's hope so. October 2020, the World Health Organization announced they were freely licensing its infographics and other materials on Wikimedia projects. Oh, good for you, World Health Organization. Ooh, there were nearly 7,000 COVID-19 related Wikipedia articles across 188 different Wikipedias. As of November of 2021. That's so stupid, dude. Wikipedia's content has also been used in academic studies, books, conferences, and court cases. Well, that's not, can't be legal. Yeah, I don't know. The okay. Parliament of Canada's website refers to Wikipedia's article on same-sex marriage and the related link section of its further reading list for the Civil Marriage Act. <laughs> the encyclopedia's assertions, or assertions, assertions mm. are increasingly used as a source by organizations such as the U.S. Federal Courts and the World Intellectual Property Organization. Okay. Though mainly for supporting information rather than inf information decisive to a case. It better not. Right. Jeez. Content appearing on Wikipedia has also been cited as a source and reference in some U.S. intelligence agency reports. December 2008, scientific journal RNA Biology launched a new section of, for descriptions of families of RNA molecules and requires authors who contribute to the section to also submit a draft article on RNA family for publication in Wikipedia. Wikipedia has also been used as a source in journalism, often without attribution, and several reporters have been dismissed for plagiarizing from Wikipedia. <laughs> now do podcasters. <laughs> <laughs> In 2006, Time Magazine recognized Wikipedia's particular... Why do we keep going back to 2006 and, like, right. jump back to 19? And, uh, they recognized Wikipedia's participation along with YouTube, Reddit, MySpace, and Facebook and the rapid growth of online collaboration and interaction by millions of people worldwide. Fantastic. On September 16, 2007, the Washington Post reported that Wikipedia had become a focal point in the 2008 election campaign, saying... Type a candidate's name into Google, and among the first results is a Wikipedia page, right? Mm, cool. Making those entries arguably as important as any ad in defining a candidate. All right. Already, the presidential entries are being edited, dissected, and debated countless times each day. October 2007 Reuters article 
titled uh, Wikipedia page, The Last Status Symbol, reported the recent phenomenon of how having a Wikipedia article vindicates one's notability. That's notability. Notability. Yeah, that is true. Uh, what are you going to do, though, man? You know you made it when you got a Wikipedia article, right? Yeah. One of the first times Wikipedia was involved in a governmental affair was September 28, 2007, when Italian politician Franco Grillini raised a parliamentary question with the Minister of Cultural Resources and Activities about the necessity of freedom of panorama. Panor- panorama. That was a freedom of... Uh... This is the copyright laws of various pranks, taking photographs, and oh, okay. Right. Whether or not you're allowed to take Do, pictures of people right. in public, I guess. Mm. He said that the lack of such freedom forced Wikipedia, the seventh most consulted website, to forbid all images of modern Italian buildings and art, and claimed this was hugely damaging to tourist revenues. Oh, because. Oh, on their version, you couldn't put the images on yeah, it. Yeah, because they wanted you to come see them in person. Oh. That's stupid. Get the hell out of here. Well, then Google Earth should be... Uh, right. Uh, right. You ain't getting... Well, you can just see the top. Oh, no. no. You can go Street View. Yeah, no. A working group led by Peter Stone... Stone. A working group led by Peter Stone formed as part of the Stanford-based project 100-Year Study on Artificial Intelligence in its report called Wikipedia, the best known example of crowdsourcing, <laughs> far exceeds traditionally compiled information sources such as encyclopedias and dictionaries in scale and depth. Uh-oh. 2017 opinion piece for Wired... Hossein Darakashan hmm. describes Wikipedia as one of the last remaining pillars of the open and decentralized web. Hey. And contrasted its existence as a text-based source of knowledge with social media and social networking services, the latter having since colonized the web for television's values. That's hey. true. Yeah, what are you going to do? That's true. For Darakashan, Wikipedia's goal as an encyclopedia represents... Wikipedia's goal as an encyclopedia represents the age of enlightenment, tradition of rationality, triumphing over emotions a trend which he considers endangered due to the gradual shift from a typographic culture to a porto- photographic one. That's true. Yeah, I mean, come on. Which in toin means a shift from rationality to emotions, ex- exposition to entertainment. Mm-hmm. Rather than uh, sapir odd, which is dare to know, social networks have led a culture of dare not to care to know. <laughs> uh, this guy gets it, huh? This is why Wikipedia faces a more concerning problem than funding. Namely, a flattening growth rate in the number of contributors to their website. This has been a common theme, this whole damn <laughs> article on Wikipedia, dude. Consequently, the challenge of Wikipedia and those who use it to say to... and Consequently, the challenge for Wikipedia and those who use it to save Wikipedia and its promise of a free and open collection of all human knowledge and amid the requ- conquest of new and old television, how to collect and preserve knowledge when nobody cares to know. Right. Wikipedia has won many awards. All right, let's continue to praise these guys. Receiving its uh, receiving its first two major awards in May of two thousand four. First was a golden nicker, <laughs> the, the golden nicker for digital communities of the annual Prix R Electronica or Pre R uh, Electronica contest. This came with a ten thousand euro or whatever the hell that logo is grant and an invitation to present at the PAE Cyber Arts Festival in Austria later that year. Second was a Judge's Webby Award for the community category. 2007, readers of brandchannel.com voted Wikipedia as the fourth highest brand ranking, receiving 15% of the votes in answer to the question, which brand had the most impact on our lives in 2006? Oh, that's nice. Awesome. In September 2008, Wikipedia received the Quadriga, a Mission of Enlightenment Award of Workstat Deutschland, along with Boris Tadik, Eckhart Hoffling, and Peter Gabriel. <laughs> The award was presented to Wales by David Weinberger. 2015, Wikipedia was awarded both the annual Erasmus Prize, which recognizes exceptional contributions to culture, society, and social sciences, and the Spanish Princess of the Austrias Award on international cooperation. Speaking at the Austrian Parliament in Oviedo, the city that hosts the award ceremony, Jimmy Wales praised the work of the Austrian Austrian <laughs> Wikipedia users. Uh, cool for him. Jeez. Oh, geez. Many parodies target Wikipedia's openness and susceptibility susceptibility to inserted inaccuracies, what characters vandalize and are modifying the online encyclopedia project's articles. Comedian Stephen Colbert has parodied or referenced Wikipedia on numerous episodes of the Colbert Report and coined the re- uh, related term Wik- Wikil. 
Wikiality? Wikiality. Wikiality. Wiki- okay. Wikiality, meaning together we can create a reality that we all agree on, on the reality we just agreed on. <laughs> Another example can be found in Wikipedia celebrates 750 years of American independence. A July 2006 front page article in The Onion, as well as 2010 Onion article, L.A. Law, Wikipedia page viewed 870 times today. Jeez. 74 times today. Jeez. L.A. Law Wikipedia page viewed 874 times today. Okay. All right. April 2007 episode of American television comedy The Office. Office manager Michael Scott is shown relying on a hypothetical Wikipedia article from information on negotiation tactics to assist him in a negotiating lesser pay for an employee. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers of the show tried to add the episode's mention of the page as a section of the actual Wikipedia article on negotiation, but this effort was prevented by other users on the article's talk page. Why? It should be like, this was this page was referenced in the office. Right. It's referenced in this freaking uh, article. Right. My number one doctor, a 2007 episode of television show Scrubs, played on the perception that Wikipedia is an unreliable reference tool with a scene in which Perry Cox reacts to a patient who says that a Wikipedia article indicates that the raw food diet reverses the effects of bone cancer by retorting that the same editor who wrote that article also wrote the Battlestar Galactica <laughs> episode guide. <laughs> That's true. Uh, 2008, the comedy website College Humor produced a video sketch named Professor Wikipedia, in which the fictionist uh, Professor Wikipedia instructs a class with a medley of unverifiable and occasionally absurd statements. Uh, Dilbert comic strip from May 8, 2009 features a character supporting an improbable claim by saying, give me 10 minutes and then check Wikipedia. Yeah. In July 2009, BBC Radio 4 broadcast a comedy series called Bigopedia, which was set on a website, which was a parody of Wikipedia. Some of the sketches were directly inspired by Wikipedia and its articles. Okay, August 23rd, 2013, the New Yorker website published, hmm. published a cartoon with this caption. Damn it, Manning, have you considered the pronoun war that is going to start on your Wikipedia page? <laughs> the cartoon referred to Chelsea Elizabeth Manning, born Bradley Edward Manning, oh, man. an American activist, politician, and former United States Army soldier had recently come out as a trans woman. <laughs> Is that the... Uh, Chelsea Manning. Oh, I don't know who that is. Are they trying to compare it to like Eli Manning or something? I don't know I what don't they're know. trying to do. December 2015, John Julius Norwich stated in a letter published in the Times newspaper. John Julius Norwich later stated. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, he stated in the Times newspaper that as a historian, he resorted to Wikipedia at least a dozen times a day and had never yet caught it out. Wow. He describes it as a work of reference as useful as any in existence, with so wide a range that it is almost impossible to find a poison, a place, or a thing that is left uncovered and that he could never have written his last two books without it. Mm. Cool. Yeah, look up Mafia, guys. <laughs> right, yeah. Wikipedia has spawned several sister projects, which are also wikis run by the Wikimedia Foundation. These are other Wikimedia projects include Wiktionary, a dictionary project. Okay. Hmm. Just put the freaking dings on Wikipedia. WikiQuote, a collection of quotations created a week after Wikimedia launched Wikibooks, a collection of collaboratively wi- written free textbooks and annotated, annotated text. Hey, that's cool. Wikimedia Commons, a site devoted to free knowledge multimedia. WikiNews for collaborative journalism. And Wikiversary, which is a project for the creation of free learning materials and the provision of online learning activities. Fantastic. Literally what Wikipedia is all about. Right. Another sister project of Wikipedia, Wiki Species, is a catalog of all species, but it's not open for public editing. Yeah, I don't know why you would need a public editor to right. edit that. 2012, Wiki Voyage, an editable travel travel guide, and Wiki Data, an editable knowledge base launch as well. Okay, yeah, he's going a little too far there. Huh? The most obvious economic effect of Wikipedia has been the death of commercial encyclopedias, especially printed yeah, versions. Yeah, gone are the days where some douchebags coming right. up to your... Uh, House, you want to buy the 2013 set of Wikipedias? Right. I'm like, no. <laughs> Especially printed versions like the Encyclopedia Britannica are gone, which are unable to compete with a product that is essentially free. Clearly. Nicholas Carr's 2005 essay, The Amorality of Web 2.0, criticizes websites with user-generated content like Wikipedia for possibly leading to a professional and his view, superior content producers going out of business. And you got these superior content content creators that, that can't they can't they can't keep up with the free well, wikipedia that's clearly not true when how many studies did they say well according to wikipedia uh-huh, um that 
Right. Wikipedia was right just as much as Britannica was. Right. And he goes on to state, free Trump's quality every time. Hmm. Carr wrote, implicit in ecstatic visions of Web 2.0 is the hegemony of amateur. A f- I, for one, can't imagine anything more frightening. Oh, poor guy. I take it he's uh, uh, one of those uh, creators. <laughs> Probably. Other dis- others dispute the notion that Wikipedia or similar efforts will entire- entirely displace traditional publications. Chris Anderson, the former editor-in-chief of Wired Magazine, wrote in Nature Magazine that the wisdom of crowds approach of Wikipedia will not displace top scientific journals with right. rigorous peer review processes. Why right. would it? Right. Uh, if anything, Wikipedia is going to steal from them. Exactly. Uh, Wikipedia's influence on the biography publishing business has been a concern for some, though. Book publishing data tracker Nielsen Bookscan stated in 2013 that biography sales were dropping far more sharply. Catherine Hughes, professor of life writing at the University of East Angola and author of two biographies, wrote, The worry is that if you can get all that information on Wikipedia, what's left for the biography? It's true. Uh, maybe get the information from the guy itself because how much shit about people especially celebrities is fake on uh, wikipedia anyways damn right wikipedia has been widely used as a corpus for linguistic research wikipedia has been widely used as a corpus for linguistic research and computational linguistic linguistics information retrieval and natural Natural language processing. This is bullshit. <laughs> in particular, it commonly serves as a target knowledge base for the entity Lincoln problem, which is then called the Wikification, and to the related problem of word sense disambiguation. Methods similar to Wikification can in turn be used to find missing links in Wikipedia. You are the missing link. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 2015, French researchers Jose. That's not a French name. All right. Josie? French researcher Josie Lages of Lozenges <laughs> of University of yeah. Franche Comte in Besancon and Dima Shempelinski of Paul Chabatier University in Toolhouse, Toulouse. They published a global university ranking based on Wikipedia scholarly citations. Well, they use page rank, che rank, or shy rank. And similar algorithms followed by the number of appearances in the 24 different language editions of Wikipedia, descending order, and the century in which they were founded, ascending order. The study was updated in 2019. What did it say? <laughs> 2007 MIT study suggests that words used on Wikipedia articles end up in scientific publications. Cool. Studies related to Wikipedia have been used in machine learning and artificial intelligence to support various operations. One of the most important areas is the automatic detection of vandalism, see that's what I said, yeah. and data quality assessment in Wikipedia. Fantastic. Yeah. 22nd, nope, February 2022, civil servants from the UK's Department for Leveling Up Housing and Communities were found to have used Wikipedia for research in the drafting of the Leveling Up white paper after journalists at The Independent noted that parts of the document had been lifted directly from Wikipedia articles on a Constantinople and the list of largest cities throughout history. So, Who cares? Uh, right. Several interactive multimedia encyclopedias <laughs> incorporating <laughs> entries written by the public existed long before Wikipedia was founded. The first of these was the 1986 BBC Doomsday Project, which Dome, included Doomsday. Yeah, Doomsday. 1986 BBC Doomsday Project, which included text entered on BBC microcomputers and photographs from more than a million contributors in the UK and covered the geography, art, and culture of the United freaking Kingdom. Okay, good for them. That was the first interactive media, uh, multimedia encyclopedia, and was also the first major multimedia document connected through internal links. With the majority of articles being accessible through an interactive map of the UK. Cool. The user interface and part of the content of the Domesday Project were emulated on a website until 2008. Fantastic. Several free content collaborative encyclopedias were created around the same period as Wikipedia. Um, For example, Everything 2, with many later being merged into the project. um, With many later being merged into the project, meaning Wikipedia. Right. Uh, one of the most successful early online encyclopedias incorporated in entries by the public was H2G2, which was created by Douglas Adams in 1999. Fantastic. The, H2D, <clears throat> the H2G2 encyclopedia is relatively lighthearted, focusing on articles which are both witty and inform- informative. Subsequent collaborative knowledge websites have drawn inspiration from Wikipedia. Others use more traditional peer review, such as Encyclopedia of Life. And the online wiki encyclopedias, Scholarpedia, and Citizen Citizen Diem. 
The latter was started by Sanger in an attempt to create a reliable alternate to Wikipedia. Dude, the Sanger guy is the one that created Wikipedia. Right. And now he's like, <clears throat> gotta create something more better. Well. Holy shit, guys. A bunch of nothing. Yeah. That whole last half of this Wikipedia article about Wikipedia was a bunch of trash, <laughs> dude. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wow, uh, I almost fell asleep. I know, it's so boring. So stupid. <sighs> it's so dumb. Wikipedia, get a hold of yourselves. I mean, guys, we had to get this out of the way. If you're still here with us, our, our shows from here on out will be a hell of a lot better than this one. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Well, we're going to we're going to I hope we're going to decide that right now because as we told you at the beginning of this uh series, we will refer to a random wheel picker to pick our uh next article. Which we shall do right now. So the way we're going to do this is on the Wikipedia um, random page. Or not random page. The Wikipedia, um, it's like a most popular article or whatever page. There's like so many categories. There's so many categories um, that they have like the most visited sites or the pages on. For, there's like actors, athletes, bands, books, buildings, cities, civilization, countries, darts, earth, or dart, not darts, that's for <laughs> us, uh, earth, emotions, empires, events, human activities, human positions, which is mainly sex positions, uh, <laughs> legendary creatures, which interestingly enough, uh, God's included on that list, uh, life, people, political leaders, pre-modern people, singers, sports teams, which and the top 100 pages, uh, plus universe and video games. So we got a lot to choose from. So what we'll do is... We will spin the wheel for what category to choose from. And then we'll go to that category and pick a page. Because there's like literally like 600 articles. Empires. Oh, we're going to start at Empires. That, please don't be a Mandarin or something like that. All right, well, go to the Empire thing. Oh, no. And there's a lot of them here. There's 30 of them, so... And the wheel says, we will be covering next week, the Empire of Sumer. (laughs) All right, let's take a look at that page, see how that's going to work out. It is the earliest known civilization in the historical region of southern Mesopotamia. And it's, mm, I mean, it's a decent article, so maybe that's actually interesting. Down it. What do you mean? It's Mesopotamia, before the world became the world. It could be cool. It was founded uh, um, 5,500 to 1475 B.C., supposedly. So. Oh, that's not even that late. Mesopotamia, though, was only like 6,000 or something. Yeah. All right. So, yep. Yeah, our next one will be about Sumer and the Empire of Sumer. Um, where is it? It's in Egypt. It's in... Are you sure? No, oh, it's along with Egypt. It's going to be... Uh... It's near... Uh, near. It's in the Middle East. Yeah, it's all it says. Near, near East, East, Middle East. East. Um, all right. Yep. That'll be uh, us next week for Sumer. If you guys like this, make sure you're going to our, our uh, YouTube channel at Bang Dang Network where you can find this show plus Outlaws and Gunslingers and Battles of the American oh, Civil War. In South Central Iraq. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Um, oh, the Tiger, some Euphrates Rivers and stuff. Yep. Okay, good. I think that's going to be a good article. Um, and there's going to be a lot of hard to pronounce stuff, so can't oh, wait for that. <laughs> my, my, my. Oh, no, and black headed people. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Black headed ones and black headed people. Black headed. That's how they refer that's to themselves. That's how they refer to themselves. All right. Um, yeah, at Bang Dang Network on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts Outlaws and Gunslingers, Battles of the Makers of War, and of course, according to Wikipedia. And we shall be back next week for the Empire of Sumer. We'll see you then. We are the Month of Michiganders. Bang, bang.